Hey, it's another one. What's going on there, friends and neighbors? It's your boy Shin Bibbidi Bob Jira here. And today I am going to be making a video for technically the sixth time. Because Bandai just loves sucking on that Shin Gojira teeth. Today I am going to be talking about the Godzilla Store exclusive Bandai Movie Monster Series Shin Gojira Metallic Pink Figure Version Guy Person Dude. I've been calling this Shin Gojiran because I saw a tweet on it and I thought it was hilarious. This isn't going to be a long video, I can tell you that right now because I have made this video yet again six times. Technically this is the second time that I've made this video just because this is the second Bandai Movie Monster Series Atomic Blast Version Shin Godzilla figure that I have, not counting the big boy. But anyway, let's just cut the semantics and and I'll put this thing in front of the camera and you can enjoy all of its beautiful colors because wow! The Metallic Pink Lemonade Boy, yet again, is a mold that we've seen before, but seeing it in this shade with this kind of paint is very interesting. But before I talk about that, let's talk about the other thing that's different with this figure, shall we? And here we have the tag. Godzilla 2016 something version 2020 something something. You are not going to have the dorsal fins cut out. It's just going to be a solid tag on the back. And on the inside, we can see Godzilla firing his atomic breath and a whole bunch of other good stuff. Did I mention there's a 65th anniversary label on here? Wow. 2020. What a way to start off. Now, as you can see, there are two different kinds of pink on this figure. The bright translucent pink and the metallic pink, which is also translucent. It's just shinier. <laughs> Look at that. The details on this figure are really, really nice, and it's interesting to see them brought forward with that metallic finish that the figure has. That, I think, can definitely be seen mostly at the top of the head over here. You've got all the crazy wrinkles. You can see Shin Goji's eye up in there, and it just looks so good. Something that I just absolutely love about this figure, though, is that everything on the outside of his mouth is metallic, while everything on the inside is translucent, really giving it a very unique feel. And the inside of Godzilla's mouth looks even more like a I'm a sucker for variant figures like this, and I'm a sucker for their crazy paint jobs. And something that I love about this figure is that you can tell the two different kinds of pink apart from one another. You have the darker, more metallic shade, and you have the lighter, more translucent shade. I think that's just a really, really cool thing. One other thing that I really love about this figure is that the top of the tail is a bright translucent pink. And what I love about that bright translucent pink, aside from the fact that it exists on the figure, is the fact that it follows through from the base of Shin Gojira's tail all the way to the top of his his tail. The details of the tip of the tail might be lost in the translucent pink vinyl, but I do not care. This looks so cool. And I think it just makes the figure look even better from far away. Now, I can't not talk about Shin Gojira's golden dorsal plates, because they look awesome. Now, they're not all fully gold. The base and mid sections of certain dorsal plates are actually pink. The gold paint is kind of just placed on there from midsection to top. Some may view that as a bit cheap and I can understand why, but me personally, I, I, I really like it. I just love the way these dorsal plates get lost in the translucent pink. It's like watching Cheetos float in a vat of pink lemonade. That's disgusting, but that's seriously what it looks like. I do, however, wish the two dorsal plates at the base of Shin's neck and the dorsal plates at the base of Shin's tail got the gold plated treatment. But that's just a nitpick. I love the way this thing looks from head to tail. Now, if I had to throw a major nitpick out there just for the sake of nitpicking, I do wish Shin Godzilla's nails and toenails were the same kind of translucent paint as the tip of the tail and the inside of the mouth. I know it might have been just a little bit too much effort on Bandai's part to do such a thing, but the fact that the inside of his mouth is translucent pink and the rest of his head is the metallic pink, I think it definitely could have been done. But that's just a tiny little nitpick. Doesn't affect my overall feelings of the figure. I wish it could show up on camera as much as it does in person. Maybe if I mess with the footage a bit you'll be able to see it but it looks like the teeth are the translucent pink as well as the metallic pink and there seems to be a bit of a two-tone thing going on with the mouth and again I love that. I love that translucent pink so much and I really do wish there was a little bit more of it poking through on this figure but Again, I still love this figure so much. Not liking that little imperfection on that dorsal fin. Now comes the boring part of the video, where I discuss articulation. Arms can go all the way around. Legs can go all the way around. Nothing in the tail, nothing in the tip of the tail, nothing in the head. 
This figure looks nice. I like the color palette that was used with it. It's interesting having a fully pink and metallic Shingo Jira figure. But just because it's cast in a different vinyl and has different paint on it really doesn't mean that you need to get it. Honestly, if you live in Japan, I'd say just pick this up now. But since most of my viewership comes from the US and other surrounding areas, I would say unless you're a major Shin Godzilla fan, you really don't need to get this. But if you're a major collector and you like those limited edition figures and everything, then I would say yeah. I definitely think this figure is a must buy for people who love Marmot figures as well, because I think this is one of the more wilder Godzilla paint jobs we've seen from Bandai. Yeah, we've seen some crazy ones, but neon pink, metallic pink, and metallic gold. I think that might be a first for Godzilla. I could be wrong, and I probably am. But as per usual, I got exactly what I wanted out of this figure. I'm always going to want more, but at the end of the day, I'm happy that I spent the money, and I'm happy that I got this figure. And that's how you skin a cat. In all honesty, I really don't mind that Bandai loves Shin Godzilla this much. I mean, I know the call is probably coming from Toho, and of course they love Shin Godzilla because of all the money he made for him. And as much as I will take a Shin Godzilla repaint, remold, re 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 re, I would like to see some new from Bandai, including, you know, some of those reissues that we've been waiting on, and maybe some promo pics of the GVK line, but we're probably not going to see that until, I don't know, early fall. All I'm saying is, Bandai, I hope you got something planned for spring and summer because uh clock's ticking man because aside from this and Gamera what else have you guys really released in your Bandai Movie Monster series line this year not much is Gamera even out yet but I digress as I said before I will take a Shin Gojira repaint any day of the week as long as it's not exclusive to a specific part of the world where I'd have to pay a hundred dollars just to import it yeah I'm talking about you terrible I did not do that obviously because if I did there'd be a video on but anyway, before I drag this video out any longer, I have been Shin Rob Jira. I do hope you enjoyed my review of the Pink Lemonade Shin Gojirin. If you would like to watch more of my Godzilla content, there will be a link in the description below and at the end of the video to the playlist Rob's Godzilla Room Reviews, which is a series where I go through my entire Godzilla collection and talk about everything in it. One figure at a time, sometimes they're paired together. A lot of remakes coming up and I'm not even done with that series yet, so prepare yourself. And hey, if you like my content that much, I got a Patreon page where you can donate one dollar two dollars or five dollars help keep this channel afloat and help me keep bringing weird stuff like this in for you all to watch and look and stop and stare in one republic dreaming out loud nobody's gonna get that shin rob jira shin go jiren and i'll see you all tomorrow with hopefully a doom eternal stream probably gonna be seeing you all week with a doom eternal stream because i ain't making no videos next week maybe we'll see we'll find out all right goodbye <laughs>